podcast today. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, me, sadly, I kind of had a, a sad weekend and a horrible weekend. Um, wasn't that great because of uh, you probably heard the news about the former Fremantle, Carl, um, yeah, Fremantle and Giants and South Fremantle and Giants as well. He sadly passed away at age of 29. Cam McCarthy, um, we did a tribute at that uh, for the game against Sydney Swans. Um, he he passed away because of um, problems with his heart as well. Um, yeah, it wasn't that great. He died at the age of 29. Um, that's probably the first players died for Fremantle. Um, wasn't good. He died on the 9th of uh, May. Um, yeah, they found him at home. He's a Perth boy. Um, we don't know if what time the funeral service is on Wednesday or if it's this Wednesday or next Wednesday uh, for his funeral service here in Perth. Uh, he's a Perth boy. Uh, we're going to miss him so much uh, for the Frio faithful as well. Um, Fife had a bit of a cry as well. Alex Piers was crying as well because our best teammates with him back in as well when he was playing for Fremantle for 49 games. And then after that, in the NBL news, um, the legend of NBL commentator, uh, Corey Side uh, Williams, he passed away with health battles. Um, he couldn't um, help the his battles. Um, he sadly passed away um, this year, so um, yeah, it's been an honour to watch him and listen to him on the NBL as well. So he's commentated, um, interviewed Bryce Cotton and some others as well. Um, it's very sad for the NBL uh, world as well at the moment for that one. So and then. Um, Freo uh, fans, members and all that worn black wristbands for Kay McCarthy over the weekend. Um, that was probably wasn't that much of a crowd over the weekend uh, for Kay McCarthy's um, as well. So, and then we go into the into the waffle. So I went to the game on Saturday. Uh, morning uh, to see the Peel Thunder, Colts, Rezies and Leg. They all smashed Swan Districts. Um, that was a, a brilliant game to see our boys. Now I go 5-1 and one now for the um, Leg boys. Uh, now we're on top of the ladder. Um, I th there's no waffle games this weekend at all, I think. So we're still top of the ladder. Um, East Perth, the uh, second on the ladder, they won. Um, South Fremantle, third. Fourth, uh, West Perth. East Fremantle uh, now inside the top five now. And the bottom four uh, is Swannies, Claremont, Subi, Perth and West Coast. And then I went to the, uh, to the Western Force game on Saturday night after the... Um, for their waffle after the waffle game, uh, Western Force won. They smashed um, the Fijis. Um, Fijis came out real hot. They were doing the haka as well. Um, that was the first time I got to see a rugby team come out and do a haka as well. Uh, they were really really nice. I got to meet one of the players. Uh, I told him that was a great haka for them. Uh, but they played really hard, but they couldn't get the win. But Western Force got the win finally. Um, Western Force can't make finals now. They've got two more games left at home and one game at, away. So, so that's the result. Um, you've probably seen it on the Western Force website and all that and the dates. Um, they've got two more games left at home, one more game at, away, and then that's it. And then the Waffle W, I went to the Waffle W 
uh, game for the East Fremantle and West Perth. That was um, second place versus third. Um, that was clearly where was going to be East, uh, West Perth favourites, but um, East Fremantle dominated on that scoreboard and um, pretty much they got the uh, the chocolates for Mother's Day and it was a bloody good win for the girls. They're levelled up with Claremont now. Um, they've got a game this weekend. Um, I think it's at, at um, down at Mandra this weekend against my mob uh, in Mandra. Um, Peel just had a first win of the season for the girls. Uh, they I didn't get to see the game because I was at the East Fremantle and West Perth and Fremantle Oval. Uh, yeah, so that was the bottom of the ladder team, East Perth and Peel Thunder. Peel uh, won at, at the away, so um, yeah. So now we've got, uh, we've got Claremont on top, East Fremantle on second, uh, West Perth the third, fourth for South Fremantle, Swan Districts the fifth, uh, Subiaco sixth, seventh, uh, East Perth and Pill are bottom of the ladder still. So we've got, and then that's the Waffle as well for the men's. They've got a buy this weekend, Waffle teams. Um, if anyone's doing the HPF run, uh, this weekend, Pick up your shirts from the Claremont um, showgrounds on the Thursday, Friday and Saturday um, from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock on Thursday night. Friday, it's 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Friday, the 17th of May. The 18th of May, the 9, 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock on Saturday before the race on Saturday. So. Um, the shirts are really good this year for the HBF run. Um, go and pick them up uh, before the actual game. And uh, Fremantle's announced their additional jerseys. It's on the um, website. Uh, you can't see it, but it's made by uh, Matthew Johnson, a former Fremantle Dockers player and the Indigenous boy. Um, they'll be wearing it for this weekend against St Kilda and and Collingwood next weekend at home. Uh, it's going to be a really cool design this year. And um, yeah, I'll tell you the, res the res rest of the results for the AFL. So we've got, you know the scores on Thursday night, Carlton won by one point. Um, everyone was saying that Melbourne should have won that one. Um, didn't get to see this game on Friday night. Um, Port won by six against Geelong. In Geelong, so go power on that one. Um, sadly, don't know what Freo is doing there, but I know it was a, a sad result because of Cam McCarthy as well. We couldn't get the chocolates done. Um, we lost against Sydney Swans by 48 points. They kept, um, Sydney kept us very quiet the last, uh, the first two quarters. Um, there was only probably two or three players kept us going. Um, Brennan Walker and some others as well. Um, yeah, we've got St Kilda this week at Marvel. So hopefully we can turn that around this weekend. Uh, yeah, so Sydney looks like going to be a, pretty much a dominant um, powerhouse team. St Kilda, don't know what to say. These guys can't make finals. Um, they lost by five against Hawthorne. Bombers, that was a big win against you, against the Giants, the favourite house and the team. Um, by 20, uh, 
Marvel Stadium, go Bombers. And Gold Coast Suns beat North Melbourne. Um, I'm hearing that Roy Lobb is at a contract. Um, if I was you, Lobby, I'd be going to North Melbourne because they've got no ruck. They need a bit of a, a push over to, to win some more games next year. So, Roy Lobb, if you're watching this, uh, please go to North Melbourne. Don't go to Collingwood. Because if you do that, you'll make a big mistake and go to the wrong team. Um, they won by, Gold Coast won by 68. Tigers, your season's done. You've got too many injuries. Um, you're pretty much done for the season. You can't make finals. Um, Bulldogs, they're now coming off a, a loss as well. So they've just come off a win now. 91 points over Richmond. <sighs> Wasn't happy about this one. Collingwood to beat um, West Coast. West Coast, these guys need to pull your finger out and do something this week. Or you guys are done for the season as well. Um, Collingwood won by 66, thanks to the umpires as well. Um, that was both because of both injury teams. Um, that was at Marvel by 66, uh, as well as that. And Adelaide, sadly, that was a, I wasn't surprising about this one. Adelaide came as a draw, but I really wanted Adelaide to win that one because I freaking hate Brisbane. Um, I wanted Adelaide to win at least a couple of games this season as well. So that's that. And um, yeah, so that was round nine. Round 10. This is for the Indigenous round. Um, Gold Coast and Geelong at Darwin. And then we've got Sydney on Friday night against Carlton at the SCG. And then we've got Collingwood and Adelaide at the MCG on Saturday. Then Saturday afternoon we've got Gold Co uh, Giants versus Bulldogs at Ethan Stadium in Sydney. Then we've got our Frio Dockers uh, against St Kilda. Ross Lyon against, gets the coach against his former club that we sacked him. Uh, so best of luck, Fremantle, for that one. And Brisbane beat, uh, will play against Richmond at the Gava. So go Brisbane. And then Bombers versus North Melbourne, clearly. Bombers to win that one over Marvel. And then Power, this is the Sunday's game. So we've got Bombers and North Melbourne. This is the day when we got the HBF uh, run for their reasons. So we've got Bombers and North Melbourne at Marvel. Port versus Hawthorne. Let's go Power. Hope you guys can beat uh, Hawthorne. That's in Adelaide Oval. And then the end of the end of the round ten is West Coast versus Melbourne. Melbourne are clearly favourites. Melbourne have I think they've won previously against West Coast against um, Melbourne. So let's hopefully Melbourne can get the chocolates done, and hopefully Oliver can kick some goals like what he did last time. And um, let's go D's. So you know what the ladder looks like at the moment. Uh, Sydney on top, Geelong second, Essendon third, that's a big surprise, Melbourne are fourth, uh, Giants are fifth now, they've dropped a couple now, Port is now sitting sixth, Carlton are seventh, Collingwood are uh, eighth now, that puts us into ninth, then we've got Gold Coast tenth, Bulldogs eleventh, Adelaide twelfth, Brisbane uh, 13th, St Kilda 14th, uh, Hawthorne 15th, Eagles 16th, Richmond 17th, and North Melbourne 18th, last on the ladder. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a, a very interesting um, close to the end of the um, regular season for the AFL. Um, there's not many games, rounds left. 
Um, there is an a uh, one, two, three. There's probably probably at least maybe twelve rounds left till finals. Um, every team needs to pull their heads up high, and yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting to see who's gonna finish um, top eight and bottom four of the ladder. And um, yeah, let's see who can finish the season off on a good night of the AFL. So yeah, and then my New Zealand Warriors lost, so that made my weekend pretty bad. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty bad weekend. And um, yeah, so best of luck for this weekend, uh, whoever's playing this weekend, and. Um, Let's go to my Dockers this weekend. Thank you very much for listening, guys, and um, stay tuned. And I'll have um, I'll be on a special radio um, as well station as well. So stay tuned, and you'll hear from it as well when I upload it on Monday or Wednesday afternoon. So you'll see it on the uh, website. So. Stay tuned for you guys and um, enjoy your rest of your morning and afternoon on Monday.